All right, so we're gonna finish up day one with doing a elite follow with Murray. And the whole idea behind this exercise is to get him more familiar with the racetrack. So when we start tomorrow morning, um, he'll already have a good idea as far as where he needs to position the car on the racetrack. Um, we explained a few other references that we've had laid out on this road course for him. So right now he's just taking in all this information at a reduced rate. So like I said, when tomorrow comes around, he's already pretty familiar with what we have going on. watching him behind me he already seems like he's a bit more confident with the car and he's also a lot smoother with his with his inputs now earlier this morning when I first watched Murray go out on the track uh, the car was super twitchy coming in and, and going out of the corners like he was waiting for the last second to jump on the brake pedal or he was too greedy and jumping on the gas too aggressively too soon and that's what would cause the car to start moving around as much as it did now watching him currently, you can tell that he's, he's not nearly as driving the car as aggressively as he was this morning, therefore making a smoother drive out of it. But it's a definitely a noticeable comparison from his first session out until now. So it's kind of looking forward to see what he does tomorrow morning after a little bit more training. moments there of good uh, braking yep. and uh, trailing brake and a smooth transition to the acceleration didn't really have a successful downshift on that course okay well that's one thing we're gonna focus on tomorrow morning yeah I'll, I'll all tonight I'll just image train overall though the course felt a little smoother falling behind you the uh, the second corner I wasn't catching your line I I watched you time and time again, and yet I kept taking my own line, okay. but I wanted to take yours. That was weird. I, I couldn't. Well, what, people, what tends to happen sometimes is like if you're focusing in on my bumper yeah. and not where I'm positioning the car, I may be turning in 10 feet in front of you, Yeah. but since you're watching me turn in, you'll turn in with I, me. I, tur I turn in premature. That's right. So you're probably turning in 20 feet sooner than me because so, you're turning in as soon as I start rather than that's where he's turning in. Yep. Do yep. That's I missed that. I saw there was a problem there, but I didn't know how to correct it. Yeah. Well, Corey, the, uh, it's the middle of the day here in uh, Phoenix. It's getting hot. I can feel that heat coming off the asphalt. Just to recap, today, uh, you know, you sent me around the lap a couple times. You, 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 you uh, timed me. Mm -hmm. I didn't really know what I was doing. I was going on stuff I had learned literally 20 years ago when I lived in Japan. Then we worked on some specific skills, some braking skills, the uh, straight line braking, the trailing braking the uh, smooth transition from, from brake to acceleration coming out of the corner. Then we did a bit of uh, uh, downshifting, yeah. tone heel techniques, going from uh, third to second gear, it, coming into that hairpin turn. And now we're done for the day. We're gonna pick it up again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. My question to you is, Corey, how am I gonna best spend my time tonight? Either image training or uh, armchair training? What, what can I do tonight to prepare me better for tomorrow? Um, honestly, what I would do is I would just go home, relax, take it easy, uh, just mentally think about everything that we've done leading up to this point. Um, also, kind of just stepping away and letting all that information absorb. If you just keep doing, uh, you know, beating yourself up on, I could have done this better, I could have done this better, sometimes that can hurt you. But just to go home and absorb that information and let it soak in and come in with a clear, fresh start tomorrow morning would probably be your best bet. Um, of course, get a good night's rest, relax. Don't beat yourself up too much because tomorrow when we jump back in it, you're gonna leave off or take off from where we left off this afternoon and uh, just progressively work out through the day. Just take it easy, relax, drink some water. And okay. okay, so there you have it. Take it easy, relax, and have lots of fun. And that's a Carter Cutlery high performance tip.